welcome to the course introduction to electrical engineering lab lecture 26 on digital circuit part 2 we will like to of course plan for presentation starting from introduction to logic gates i mean we have a logic gates here or gate and gate nor gate not gate nor gate nand gate exclusive or gate and exclusive nor gate and uh, after discussing this logic gates we we'll like to discuss some exercises as well as numerical problem followed by references like. So, starting from introduction, we will say the introduction basically this is introduction to the logic Boolean logic. So, the it is named after English mathematician George Boole, who uh, I mean like who developed this uh, the photograph you can see of this guy in typically on the right side. So, George Boole described the way we make the logical decision based on the true or false circumstances in his book and investigation the law of the thought and methods he described are referred to the, the Boolean logic at the system of using symbols and operations to describe the decision is called the Boolean algebra. Well, Boolean algebra uses symbols to represent a logic logical expressions that has one of the two possible ways we can call true false or 1 or 0 or on off same again 1 0 or high low that is 1 0 and this typically we can call it logic 0 if we represent by false. So, we can say logic 1 is true if we represent logic 0 by off then we can say logic 1 is on and if we say logic 0 is low then we can say logic 1 high and if logic 0 we call it no then we call it logic 1 yes and if we say logic 0 equal to open switch then we can say logic 1 is closed switch and these are the common logic terminology or terms we use normally I mean in case of this Boolean algebra like. So, this Boolean logic the main purpose of each logical expression is to describe the relationship between the logic circuits output typically the design and its input the circumstances both of which are binary values 1 and 0. The Boolean constants and variables are allowed to have the two possible value 0 and 1 we already discussed the binary numbers last time. I mean and why we have taking a binary number that also we discuss it a Boolean variable is a quantity that may be at different time times be equal either 1 or 0 or 1. So, this Boolean 0 and 1 do not represent actual number, but instead represents the E state of voltage variable or what is called its logic level like the voltage in a digital circuit is said to be 0 level or logic 1 depending upon the actual numerical value for example, low or high. So, the Boolean algebra is a means of expressing the relationship between a logical circuits input and output and the inputs are considered logic variable whose logic are at any time determine the output level. So, letter symbols are used to represent the logic variables and for example, the letter A might represent the certain digit, digit cir circuit input or output at any time either A equal to 0 or A equal to 1. If not one then then the other. So, in Boolean algebra no fraction decimal negative number square root cube root logarithmic imaginary number and so relatively easy to work with compared to the ordinary algebra and in Boolean algebra three basic operators or and and not and in digital logic only two possible condition exist for any input or output example it switch is either on or off and the binary number system is perfect for representing the logic relationship as it has two, two digits 1 and 0 and digital logic circuits use predefined pre voltage level to represent the binary state. For example, 1 is represented high say 5 volt and 0 represented by low say 0 volt and a logic circuit is 1 that we have like a voltage control switch that is a two position device with on and off states. So, that this is term a binary device in which the on state is represented by 1 and off state is represented by 0 and the typical applications of this Boolean algebra or you can call it the digital logic is I mean logic gates is like typically microprocessor. Then TTL transistor, transistor logic based industrial control board than your transistor transistor TT logic TTL based digital trainer, then hearing hearables or hearing aids using digital logic, 
then your typically wearable technology in health and disease diagnosis using uh, digital logic as you can see four different parts that you have a on ankle then thigh fingers followed by wrist and earphone ear bone lobe or head phone so there are, i mean all the devices are available in market today which you really use and all these use the your typically logic gates or digital logics like then random access memory in short we call ram which are used normally in all the digital systems like computer or processor then typically the flash memory i mean the flash memory is again consist of your all digital uh, devices as you can see in in this typically on the pcb of the different parts of the computer then digital camera i mean they also use the these logical gates and then digital data transmission and internet again use the typically logic gates so coming to after these applications you have seen i mean virtually the entire backbone of the computer is typically your digital logic or these logic gates on which the basic i mean mathematics is the boolean algebra so boolean algebra is ideally suited for the analysis and design of binary logical system logic system and boolean algebra is the variables of an equation are commonly assigned letters of the alphabet and the one or true state is normally represented by single letter such as a b or c and the opposite state of the condition is then described as zero or false and represented by a a bar or described not a or a negated or a complemented there are many way to represent virtually your uh, this a bar or so so the boolean operators are concerned only with multiplication addition and negation so we have a multiplication here typical example we call it a and b it is written in sort ab or a cross b and addition we write a or b or we write a plus b and negation or complementation we write not a or a bar or a star or a dash and equivalency we write a equal to b or a equal to b so boolean operators can be achieved with logic gates uh, in hardware and and gate is used to to multiplication or gate used for addition and negation or complement with not gate and boolean algebra is used to analyze the lo logic circuit and to express the op its operation mathematically to so boolean algebra by investigating the various boolean theorems rules that can help to simplify logic expression and logic circuits well we can say it's a like a typically single variable theorem deals with the single variable and typically and or not operations based theorem so these are the typical theorem which work with the boolean algebra property the theorem one is a dot equal to a dot 0 equal to 0 so you might have a value of a equal to 0 or 1 so the proof is 0, 0 dot 0 equal to 0 and 1 dot 0 is also 0 means the and you can call it and with the a either a value have a 0 or 1 it's all equal to 0 and theorem 2 says a dot 1 or a multiplication 1 is equal to a the, the proof is if a has a value 0 or 1 0 dot a equal to 0 oh sorry 1 equal to 0 or 1 dot 1 is equal to 1 now the third theorem says a dot a equal to a and that gives the proof of it if your a have a value 0 or 1 so 0 dot 0 equal to 0 1 dot is dot 1 is equal to 1 and theorem 4 says a dot a dash equal to 0 so proof is like 0 dot 1 equal to 0 or 1 dot 0 equal to 0 i mean where the your a dash is the complement of a then theorem 5 says a plus equal to a plus 0 equal to a and proof is 0 plus 0 equal to 1 and 1 plus 0 equal to 1 means a can have a 0 and 1 that is the reason how the proof and theorem 6 says a plus 1 equal to 1. So, proof is 0 plus 1 equal to 1 and 1 plus 1 equal to 1. Now, theorem 7 says a plus 1 a plus a equal to a and proof is 0 plus 0 equal to 0 and 1 plus 1 equal to 1 and theorem 8 says a plus a dash equal to 1 and proof is 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 plus 0 equal to 1. Now theorem 9 a double dash equal to 8 and proof is 0 equal to 0 and 1 equal to 1 because after double complement again the variable comes to the same value common like. Now the we come to multivariable theorem. The multivariable theorem generally deal with the more than one variable 
and these theorems are of boolean algebra is very similar to the conventional algebra and the theorems are identify as the cumulative associative and disruptive theorems like so starting from theorem 10 cumulative property a dot b equal to b dot a and theorem 11 is your cumulative property 2 a plus b equal to b plus a equal to a plus into b plus c equal to a plus b plus c and theorem 14 says disruptive property distributive property 1 a dot b plus c equal to a dot b plus a dot c and theorem 15 that is distributive property 2 that is a plus b c equal to a plus b into a minus a plus c then distributive absorb absorption property 1 i mean that theorem 16 to a plus ab equal to a and the theorem 17 is absorption property second that is a plus a dash b equal to a plus b now theorem 18 absorption property 3 is a dash plus a ab equal to a dash plus b so now coming to the truth table of logic gates so a truth table is a means of for describing how a logic circuit output depends on the logic level present at the circuit inputs and the truth table of single in single input logic circuit is shown here in the figure and the logic levels present at a input a along with the corresponding output a dash that is a is the input so this is a single input logic gate not gate that is y equal to a dash and typically you can call it input is 0 1 then output a dash that is the to according to table is 0 will become 1 and 1 become when you take a complement it become 1 is 0 so this representation of input and output we call it the truth table for single variable of course there is single input and you have a single output so now truth table of two input logic gates is shown here in the figure so we have a two input a and uh, b input and the output is the x so the gate can be either or and not the plenty of gates we already discussed it so two input logic is typically the logic level present at input a and b along with the corresponding output x so here we have input your a and b a can be also 0 and 1 b also can be 0 1 and so there are so four combination because each variable consists of two input so 2 into power 2 will be 4 so here it is your uh, output will be corresponding to s so here the output is corresponding to is coming when 0 0 1 and 0 1 to 0 and 1 0 typically is 1 and 1 was equal to 0 so it depends like which typically logic you are going to take this i mean and the in general the this will be the kind of the representation for the logic like so which we'll discuss of course in the uh, uh, next slides like for different logic gate so classing of logic gate the basic basic logic gates are or and not and universal logic gates are nand and nor and special logic gates are xor and xnor so these are typically the logic gates which are used in your typically as a logic gate in your typically in digital uh circuits so coming to basic logic gate so starting from logic gates are the most basic logic circuits and these are the fundamental building blocks from which all other logic circuits and digital systems are developed and in boolean algebra there are only three basic operators or and and not called logic operations and logic gates can be constructed from diodes transistor and resistor connected so that the circuit output is the result of a basic logic operation of or and not perform on the input so starting from your or logic gate how it can be represented so this is the symbol of your or gate as a circuit symbol which you have input a and b and output is your x equal to a and a plus b so we can say two logic input a and b are combined using the or operation denoted by plus symbol and to produce the output x x a b are the bits so a truth table for all logic gate describing the logic circuit uh circuit output is high when any one any of the input is high or gate output will be low logic zero only if all the inputs are at logic zero so typical truth table is here a and b which have a value 0 and 1 and x is the a plus b so when both input are 0 0 0 the output is zero when 
a 0 and b is 1, the output is 1 and when a is 1 and b is 0, that also output is 1 and when both input are 1, that output is 1. So, that is the logic operation you are for representing x equal to a plus b and this representation in form of a table, we call it the truth table of this logic gate of all logic gate like. So, this all logic gate, the example is the bus will go to a or b, the success truth of the bus going to 1 or either can be represented by x, thus x occurs when the bus goes to either a or b or both if it might travel through a to get the get to b or vice versa. So, here it is again the logic table is given which you already discussed it. So, Boolean expression for the or operation is x equal to a plus b and the positive sign is not the additive function, but means or in the logic. So, we call it x equal to a or b and it is read x equals a or b that is the representation I mean in terminology for this two table or logic of you can call it logic gate of a or logic gate. So, coming to typically what we call it unable or logic gate if one input control is 0 then the all logic gate is said to be unable and if in the two table if control is 0 then the or gate is working as a buffer that is the output is same as the input. So, you can clearly see here if we have a control input 0, so a will pass as it is to the output. If a is 0 then output is 0, a is 1 then output is 1. It means whatever is the input that the same is the output like a is the input then a is the output like. So, this we call it enabled all logic gate. Now, there is a disabled logic gate. So, disabled logic gate means we are keeping control logic 1. So, if the one input is given uh, is 1 then the OR gate is said to be disabled. So, if the control is 1 the OR gate output is independent of the input and working as a disabled logic. So, as you can see control input 1 whatever is the input is all output is always 1. So, whether a is 0 then still output 1 or a equal to 1 that is also 1 or a is input is a either 1 or 0 then also output 1. So, we call it this is the disabled OR logic gate. Uh, the reason being it means the output does not depend on the input a because control have decided that it will have to flag all the time output 1. So, this we call it disable all logic gate. Well, switch based all logic circuit in electrical circuit or operation is equivalent to the two switches in parallel and you can just see here the lamp f here which is shown when, when either switch or both switches are closed, closed switch is represented by logic 1. So, that is f equal to a plus b and you can just see the example here about the typically here the logic I mean you can just see here I mean there are two switches. So, you will see the output is glowing if any one of the switch or both the switches are on. So, under three condition you will see the output is 1 and you can call it like a typically I mean uh, the bulb glows under three condition, but in both one condition when both the switches are off then only the your bulb is not glowing and this is a typical example of your similar way what we have typically staircase lighting either you can switch on the light from upper side or you can switch on from lower side like. So, that is the typical logic virtually there it goes to kind of a logic gate like and it is truthable here symbol is also given here circuit configuration is also given here and LED circuit representation is also given in the figure. So, that is a good example a practical life good example of representing the all logic gate like. Now, coming to the another circuit diode based or logic circuit as you can see the two a b input to two diodes and the output across the register and input it can be applied with respect to ground and output also can be seen with respect to the ground. So, if no or 0 voltage level 0 is applied to the both the input then the output v o is 0 is also 0 logic 0 because both diodes are reverse bias and circuit is open circuit. And if however, a positive voltage applied say 5 volt to logic 1 is applied either one or both input then at least one diode turn on forward bias and then the output VO is also 5 volt. So, this represents the typically operation I mean this circuit also represents the operation of your OR gate like the another circuit which represents the BJT based OR gate I mean two transistor connected in parallel but the output is taken across your emitter that we call C equal to A plus B. So, in this case also 
if any one I mean it also work like OR gate if any one of the input is high or both input are high then output will be high if both are low none of the transistor will be conducting then you will get output equal to 0 means your output will be connected I mean reflected from the ground. So, if no 0 voltage or logic 0 is applied to the both input A and B then the output voltage V O is also 0 logic level 0 and both transistors are in cut off that is open circuit. So, if however, a positive voltage say 5 volt logic 1 is applied to either one or both the input then at least one transistor turns on in saturation mode and the output voltage C is also 5 volt logic 1. So, this also present as a OR gate circuit like. Now, coming to OR logic with the multi input you might have a multi input OR gate also as you can see here input is not only A and B, but we input is A B C. Now, your truth table goes that anyone can be a 0 and 1. So, the total input will be 2 to power 3 that you can see here the uh, typically the 8 sets of input and the output except leaving all the 3 input are 0 that is 0 all remaining you can call it 7 input output is 1 because this represents the OR gate x equal to A plus B plus C. So, any 1 or any 2 or any all the 3 are 1 then output is 1. So, for 3 input the OR circuit symbols and corresponding truth table is given. So, for n input the corresponding combination is 2 to power n for example, 2 input a and b the truth table consists of 2 to power 2 that is 4 combination and for 3 input a b, a, b and c the truth table has 2 to power 3 8 combination and the boolean expression is x equal to a plus b plus c. So, that is about OR gate now we are going to discuss about end logic gate. So, the end logic gate representation you can see as a 2 input end gate a and b and the symbol shown here I mean with the box shown on the right side as a circle in place of triangle and that we represent output x equal to a b. So, the 2 input a and b are combined using end operation denoted by dot symbol and to produce the output x I mean a and b are all x a b are the bits and the truth table shows that x is a logic 1 only when both a and b are logic 1 because the multiplication of the 2 will be 1 only when both the input are 1. So, you can see the combination because there are 2 variables. So, 2 2 into 2 power is the input set 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1. So, in output will be only 1 because it is a multiplication of the 2. So, when both are 1 then only output is 1 for remaining 3 condition output is 0 and that represented like x equal to a and b logic circuit and this is we call it the truth table of and logic gate. And the typical example is the bus going to A and B the success truth of the bus going to be both places can be represented by x thus x occurs only when bus goes to both A and B. So, Boolean expression for end expression is equal to x equal to A, A dot B and the logic table of this end is your A 0 1 0 and B A 0 0 0 1 1 0 for all 3 cases is 0 and when the A and B both are 1 then output is 1 and the, the period dot sign is not the multiplicative function here, but means and in logic to so, x equal to A and B and it is it is read as x equal A and B. So, now coming to typically the enabled and logic case so, if one input out of typically 1 then the end gate is said to be unable and if control is 1 the end gate output is the same as the input as you can see here. If control is 1, so when A equal to 0 output is 0, when A equal to 1 the output is 1 and it means when control is 1 you can have same output as the input that is A goes to output like A is input output is also A. Well, the disable end logic if one of the input is control input is 0 then the end logic is said to be disabled and if truth table if the control is 0 then the end gate output is independent of input and you can just see when a this control is 0 the output is always 0 it does not depend on the a whether a is 0 or 1. So, we call it this as a disabled end logic. So, now coming to like a end logic gate with the representation with the practical examples. So, in an electric circuit and operation is equivalent to the two switches in series the lamp f 
lights that is f equal to 1 only when both switches are closed. Closed switch represented is by logic 1, so f equal to a dot b and switch based it represents the switch based your end, end gate circuit and the typical example is here practical example you can just see here. So, when one I mean both the switches are on then only I mean your output is high bulb goes otherwise all three condition you are getting the output is 0 whether one switch is off or two switch off or both switches are off the output is 0. So, this represents you can say the truth table also here circuit also there symbol also there I mean and representation of electronic circuit also there. So, this is switch based and gate circuit and truth table representation of and logic gate just to have a like a practical examples I mean typically in a circuit like. So, again to represent by diode base and logic gate here again we have a circuit I mean where output is shown here and the F is pulled to uh, 10 volt and A and B are input. So, with the word diodes are reverse compared to previous case. So, diode based and logic circuit here. So, if 0 voltage is applied to either of A or B or both then the respective diodes is forward bias or short circuit and resulting in the output voltage becoming 0. So, if both are both diodes are uh, typically you can call it like a off then only output will be your high. So, you can say if 10 volt logic 1 is applied both A and B then both diodes are reverse bias open circuit and then the output voltage rises to 10 volt logical 1 supply voltage. Now, the it is a BJT based logic circuit so you have a 2 BJT transistor in series followed by in series with the emitter you have a uh, output C equal to A dot B. So, that when both the transistor are on then only the 5 volt supply will be reflected on the output, but otherwise the ground will be reflected at the C terminal. So, if no 0 voltage logic 0 is applied to either input A or B or both then the output voltage V 0 is also 0 logic 0 and at least one transistor is in cutoff that is open circuit or no current flows. So, if however, a positive voltage of say 5 volt logic 1 is applied to both the inputs then both transistors turn on go to saturation mode and the output voltage C is also 5 volt logic 1. Now, coming to multi input and logic gate. So, if there are 3 input the end gate circuit symbols and the truth table is given here the boolean expression is x equal to a dot b dot c and you have a 2 to power 3 set input the output is only for one case when all 3 input are 1 for remaining cases output is 0 as you can see here. And the circuit representation for this is the truth table and circuit representation is a by 3 input a a b c and output a x equal to a b c. Now, coming to the logic third logic gate that is we call it not logic gate that is normally single input logic gate and a is the input and we have a triangle with the dot this we call it the not circuit symbol and x equal to a bar that is you are reversing the output compared to input. the presence of a small circle always denote the inversion. So, not operation is unlike the or and and operation because it is pre performed on a single input variable and if the variable a is subjected to not operation also called inversion or complementation and the result is expressed is s equal to a bar or x equal to a dash and here the truth table is for not gate when a equal to 0 the x equal to a bar equal to 1 and when a equal to 1 the output x equal to 0 and this is we call it the truth table and circuit representation is shown here. The not operation is also referred as the inversion of the complementation and if the variable a is subjected to not operation then the result x can be expressed x equal to a bar equal to a dash and it is read x equals to not a and x equal to the inverse of a or x equal to complement of a. And you can just see the signal here when a equal to 1 not go to 0 otherwise a equal a output is 1 and truth table here is the same I mean a is 0 or 1 the output x equal to a not equal to 1 or 0 1 and 0. So, switch based not logic here it is shown if the electrical circuit not operation is equivalent to the switch in parallel with the load. So, switch based not gate logic. So, the lamp L light when the switch is open 
and represented by logic L equal to A bar and coming to the diode based not logic if A is 5 volt A equal to 1 then the diode is forward bias and the LED is not L melting that is x equal to 0. So, you can say I mean it is a typically a not gate representation diode based not gate representation. I mean when A equal to 0 certainly diode will not conduct the LED will not glow, but when A equal to 1 a is high then diode will conduct and your LED will glow. So, A is 0, A equal 0 volt, A equal to 0 then the diode is reverse bias and the LED eliminating is eliminating that is x equal to 1. So, now BJT based not gate here of course, output we are seeing at the collector any I mean input is at the base I mean like uh, so it is representing the not gate means output is inverted compared to this because when your A is high transistor conduct it will be connected to go to saturation and it your output will be connected to ground when A is 0 the transistor will be off and the voltage of VCC will be reflected at the output like. So, if no 0 voltage logic 0 is applied to the input A then the output voltage is VCC logic 1 and transistor is in cutoff that is open circuit and if However, if a positive voltage say 5 volt logic 1 is applied to input A then the transistor turns and turns on and it goes to saturation mode and the output voltage VCC is 0 and logic it is a logic level 0 and it represents the not gate circuit using BJT. So, now coming to the a set of other logic gates that we call it universal logic gates we call it why we call it logic universal logic gate we will discuss of course, two other type of logic gates NOR gate and NAND gate are widely used in digital circuit and an a, any expression can be implemented using combination of OR gate and gate or NOT gate uh, all are the basic logic gate and NAND and NOR gates in the proper combination can be used to perform each of the boolean operation of OR and an invert means NOT operation. So, thus it is possible to implement any logic expression using only NAND or NOR gates and no other type of gate and thus NAND or NOR gates all are called universal logic gates. So, easier or simpler to standardize by using a single type of gate however, the number of gates that need to be used increases. So, coming to the NOR logic gate. The NOR gate operates like a OR gate followed by an inverter NOT gate and the NOR gate output is x equal to a plus b bar is the exact inverse of OR gate output and the symbol representation here is at the output of OR gate we have a dot which denotes the in inversion and the input is a and b output is x equal to a plus b bar and another equivalent is we have a, a and B input with for OR gate and once we get A plus B we can use we use the NAND gate NOT gate and that inverses it so it becomes X becomes equal to A plus B bar. So, but in I mean in place of representing two logic gate like AND and NOT we represent only one logic gate that is your NOR logic gate. So, this is the symbol of NOR logic gate and the truth table here is for the two input logic gate we have a four combination of two variables a and b like a 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and the AND operation give you like a, a plus b that is 0 1 1 1 and the your NOR operation a and plus b dot bar will give you just inverse of a and b that is 0 will become 1 and all three 1 will become 0. So, this we call it the two table for your NOR gate. Well, the NOR gate output goes low when any input is high or can say that output is high only when both input are low and this you can see the how it is represented here in the kind of waveform. I mean you can just see when uh, any one of the input is high the output is low only when both input are low then only you are getting output pulse. So, in the this logic digital circuit representation and the kind of waveform. Well, coming to this NOR gate logic enabled NOR gate logic. So, here we have if one input is 0 then NOR gate said to be enabled. So, if logic is 0 then NOR gate output is invert of the input working as the inverter 
So, here you can see input input is 0, control input is 0, the output will be the same invert of your input that is if a equal to 0 output is 1, if 1 is typical input is a equal to 1 then output is 0 or you can say input is a then output is a inverse and that is means the if control logic is 0 then you can call it is a unable logic, unable logic gate. Then we have a disable logic gate if one input control input is 1 then the NOR gate is said to be disabled and in the two table if control 1 is 1 then NOR gate is output is always low. So, it means it does not depend on the your input A. So, here control is 1. So, A if it is 0 1 or A the output always remains 0 it means the output is disabled it is not affected by A input. Now, the circuit representation of NOR logic gate here we have if any in an electric circuit NOR operation is equivalent to two switches in parallel. So, if the lamp Y f equal to 1 only when both switches are open the circuit is represented by logic 0. So, y equal to a dot b and switch base NOR logic gate represented here. Then this is the same equivalent here by BJT that we are keeping both transistor in parallel with that a and p input the output will be only high when both are 0 only one condition if any one of the high or both are high the output is 0. So, that represent in transistor also as a your NOR gate logic circuit. So, if no input logic is applied to the both A and B input then the output voltage is y 5 volt and both transistor is in cutoff and open circuit and no current flow. But if A voltage logic 1 is applied to either A input or O or A or B or both then the output voltage is 0 logic 0 and at least one transistor is in saturation mode that is on, on and current flow. So, now coming to another universal logic gate that is NAND logic circuit gate. So, the NAND gate operates like a AND gate followed by an inverter NOT gate and NAND gate output is your x equal to a dot b in inverse or bar and is the exact inverse of a AND gate and the simple representation here that at the symbol of NAND we have a dot denotes which denotes the inversion and input is a and b and output is x equal to a b bar and circuit symbol another circuit symbol equivalent circuit is AND gate followed by NOT gate. So, a and B is the you can call it the input to dial your AND gate output is A B and then after not we get the output A B bar. So, but this this is the symbol by two logic, but here it is represented by one logic gate I mean like only by AND followed by the dot and the truth table is I mean for two input in two input variables we have a four combination two to power two that is four like a, a is 0 and b is 0 then a is 1 b is 1 and a is 1 b is equal to 0 or both are 1 1. So, a b and gate output will be all 3 0 only in one output will be 1 when both the input 1 and nand gate output a b bar will be just inverse of and. So, you will get 1 in all the 3 cases except when both input are 1 then only you are getting output 0. So, that is we call it the operation or two table for NAND gate logic gate. So, NAND got logic gate here the NAND output is, is shown low when only all the inputs are high. So, you can just see here I mean the logical operation for waveform of A and B when both A and B are high then only output is your low otherwise the output is always high. The output is low when both input is high and that is the circuit representation and waveform for this NAND logic gate. Now, coming to NAND enable NAND logic gate if one input control is 1 then the NAND goal is, is to be enabled. So, if NAND gate input is control is 1 then NAND gate output is the invert of the input and working as an inverter and you can see here the control if it is 1 what a whatever a is the output is inverse of it. So, a if it is 0 output is 1 and one a is 1 then output is 0 and of course, you can call it the input if it is a then output is a bar and the here the you can call it is a enable and NAND logic gate the control input a 1. Now, we have a disable NAND gate logic if one input is 0 that is control input is 0 NAND gate said to be disabled here control input is 0. So, a I mean output will not depend on a. So, we call that is why we call it disable. So, in the truth table if control is 0 then I the output is always high. So, you can say control input is 0 0 
So, if age 1, output 1, is still if it is age 1, then also output 1, it means the output does not depend on the input. So, it is a virtually disabling the your NAND gate. Now, coming to this NAND gate logic, the switch based NAND gate. So, if in an electric circuit, NAND gate operation is equivalent to a two switch in series and in parallel to the load. So, y, the lamp Y is low only when both switches are closed and closed switch representation is a logic 1. So, y equal to a dot b and you can see here when both switches are closed then only you can call it the out, your bulb will not glow or the all three condition you will find the bulb will glow. If any switch of off or both the switches are off then bulb will glow because current will flow through this resistor, but when you close this switch the zero voltage applied to the lamp. So, now coming to BJT based NAND gate logic you can see both transistors are in series. So, when both input are on both transistors are in saturation then only output is connected to ground, but if any one of the transistor is having both are off or any one of the off it is not giving the path to the current flow. So, output remains as VCC and that we call it output is high. So, in this VJT based NAND gate circuit if no voltage 0 level is applied to the either A or B or both then the output voltage is 5 volt logic 1 either A or B or both the transistor is in cut off and the open circuit. So, no current flow. If a voltage logic 1 is applied for both input A and B then the output voltage is 0 and logic 0 both the transistor are in saturation and then on and current flows. So, now coming to universal uh, gate applications. So, we can say not operation using NAND gate. So, single NAND gate is required to perform the operation of one AND gate. So, if you really connect both the input together that is A, another input is also A, so you can call it x equal to A dot A bar that becomes A bar. So, you can say that NAND gate can rely the your NOT gate by this manner. Now, two NAND gate are required to perform the operation of one AND gate. How you can do AND operation by using NAND gate? So, the you have it A and B input to NAND gate and that give you the output A B bar and then further you connect both the input together and apply the signal and for second NAND gate and output will be bar of this A and B. So, second, second bar will cause the variable to the same. So, x will be equal to A and B. It means this two NAND gate can rely this AND operation or equivalent to AND operation like. Now, or operation using NAND gate. So, three NAND gates are required to perform the operation of one OR gate. So, if you take a A both input of A connect A to one NAND gate the output is A bar and both input you connect to B second NAND gate you get B bar and then both A bar B bar you connect together input together and apply to NAND gate. So, it will be now x equal to A bar B bar then double bar and that will be equal to A plus A plus B. So, that representation is you can call it representation of your OR gate by 3 NAND gate. So, now coming to NOT operation using NOR logic gate. So, single NOR gate is required to perform the operation of NOT gate. So, both input you can connect to A. The output will be your x equal to A plus A bar. A plus A bar that is A bar. So, it can represent you can call it the your NOR gate can represent your typically the output corresponding to NOT gate. Now, AND operation is using NOR gate. So, you have a now 3 NOR gate are required to perform the operation of one AND gate. So, if you connect both input to A, you will get A bar from this NOR gate and both input you connect to B, then you will get B bar and when you connect the A bar, A bar B bar input to another NOR gate, the output will be x equal to A bar plus B bar then bar of it and that will be equal to A B. So, this represents 3 representation of 3 NOR gate represents the your AND gate operation. Then similarly, OR operation using NOR gate. So, you can have a typically 2 input to 1 NOR gate. So, it give you A plus bar bar and this output you connect to another NOR gate, 2 input NOR gate. So, you will get again inverted. So, it will be output will be A plus bar. It means that these 2 NOR gate can represent 1 OR gate. So, that means you can have all the 3 and OR not gate can be represented by 
your NAND and NOR gates like and that is the reason we call it universal logic gates. So, another logic gate is the X or exclusive or logic gate, this is also interesting. I mean, two logic input A and B are combined using exclusive or exclusive or simply X or equal denoted by a symbol or plus by a circle and to produce the output F and this is the symbol. Now, it is a symbol of OR gate, but with the a typically another kind of bar here with the input and this is a circuit symbol of your exclusive OR and output is F equal to A with the plus circle B and this this two table shows F is a logic one only when both are different. So, it is interesting here when A and B I mean it is a two input. So, you have a four set of input 2 to power 4. So, 0 0 output is 0 when input is also 1 1 output is 0 when input are different 0 1 then output is 1 and input is your 1 0 then also output is 1. So, this is when input are different then only output appears otherwise if both input are same then output is 0 whether both are input are 0 or 1. Now, coming to a car logic gate example the bus goes either A or B, but not to both. So, success of the bus going one or, or other can be represented by F, thus F, F occurs only the bus goes only to A and not B or B and not A. And the Boolean expression for the XOR operation is F, F A with the circle with plus sign B equal to a dot b bar plus a dot a bar dot b in terms of the fundamental logic gate or, or and not gate and truth table here is shown same as a b input like a when both are same 0 0 output is 1 or 1 1 input is 1 1 then output 1 when they are different 0 1 or 1 0 then only output appears. So, this x core logic this combination of logic gate occurs quite often and it is very useful in certain applications of this your exclusive or and the output traditional x or gate symbol is shown here. So, and the uh, your x equal to a uh, with the plus circle that b and that is equal to a bar b plus b plus a b bar and how the logical operation you can say by using basic logic gates is you have a two input a b a you keep a with the not gate that you get a bar and then b to nand gate that get a bar b and the another logic gate or gate you give a directly and b not. So, that get a b not nand gate. So, that becomes a b not and then you followed the or gate. So, this becomes x equal to a bar b plus a b bar and that is the representation you can call it I mean traditional uh, exclusive or and this is of course, required in many applications like. So, coming to like a enable x or logic gate. Uh, if one input is 0, then x OR gate is said to be enabled with low signal. If control is 0, then x OR gate output is same as the input working as a buffer and you can say you can call it con with the control that if a is 0, output is 0 and a is 1, then output is 1 and it means the output is same as the input with control is 0. So, it means exclusive OR is presented with control is 0 and this is typically kind of enable if it is 1 I mean like. So, switch based exclusive OR gate logic it is shown here the exclusive operator is typically represented in electric circuit by two way switching associated with the stair, stair light and the lamp F uh, light F equal to 1 only when one of the switches is on and other is off that is F equal to A with the OR operation nor operation uh, exclusive operation B that is circle or you can call it A dot B bar plus A bar dot B and that is the operation how you can see the switching operation here with the battery and bulb. So, you have A and the uh, A is connected with the two input that is 0 1 and you can call it the now B is also connected with the another set of switch that is typically your 0 or 1. So, in this case you can call it like a how did the operation? So, this is based exclusive OR gate circuit. So, you can call it if one is connected to one, so another should be connected to zero, then only light will glow. And this is a very interesting lighting system arrangement of exclusive OR gate. 
So, this can be exclusive or can be implemented in two switch as shown in the figure. I mean the output will be glowing only on the another position and uh, typically when they are similar position they were not the LED will not blow. So, that is the how it is represented in a cross switch operations of this logic typically of exclusive or and the logic table certainly is there with the A B input when both are unex not the same output is 1 otherwise it is 0 when both are input is 1 like. So, bottom condition is 1 and top position is 0. So, for the switch as previous switch based exclusive or, or gate circuit and it is a BJT based exclusive or. So, you have a two sets of transistor connected with the in series okay. and the third set transistor of course, is uh, connected with the typically you can call it at the output of one is connected to high another is connected. So, that is the enable circuit which we discussed earlier typically in this manner. So, this circuit represents of the six transistor your exclusive OR circuit and how the logic is there one is OR here another is your NAND there and the both the input goes to your AND logic. So, this is representing OR you can call it like uh, another representing your uh, NAND and then combining together with the AND. So, you get the typically your exclusive OR. So, if no voltage logic 0 is applied to the either A or B or both then the output y is 0, y is 5 that is logic 1 or either A or B both are both the transistor is off then cut off open circuit or no current flows. So, in a voltage if a voltage logic 1 is applied to both input A and B then the output voltage 0 and uh, logic 0 and both transistors are in saturation mode and current flows. So, now coming to ex exclusive NOR logic gate I mean so, the two logic input A and B are combined using exclusive NOR, X NOR or simply we call it X NOR operation and it is denoted by dot with the circle. So, you have a like a here uh, exclusive OR with the NOT it means X equal to exclusive A exclusive B inverse of it and that represent A B plus A bar A bar into B bar that is the symbol and that is the output of it and truth table if we talk about output will be one only when both input are similar that is because it is a just exclusive NOR. So, it is just opposite of your exclusive OR. So, when for the two input set you have a four possible combination. So, it is just when both input are 0 or 1 then output is 0, 1 otherwise the output is 0 if any one of the input is 0. So, two table shows x here is logic 1 only when A and B are the same. The example is the bus goes to either A or B both or neither A or B the success tooth of bus goes only one or other can be represented x. So, then x occurs when the bus goes to only to not A and B not A and B. So, here the logic table the boolean expression for the exclusion or operation is f A with the circle dot B equal to A B plus A bar B bar and in terms of fundamental gate or and logic gate. So, the combination of logic gates occurs in the quite. So, exclusive symbol is same uh, with the symbol with the dot of exclusive word. So, x equal to a uh, with the circle plus b bar that becomes a b plus a b bar. So, here representation comes here that you have a 2 a b you have invert of both with the not then you apply AND gate you will get A B bar and you have a directly to AND gate A B. So, you get A B. So, you have NOR both. So, you will get the X, X equal to A B plus A B bar. Unable uh, X NOR logic gate if one input control is one 0 then the exclusive gate is said to be unable and control is 0 then exclusive NOR gate output is invert of the input and working together as you can see here the output is same as the input if control logic is 0 and it is also enable when the your input logic is 1 the exclusive NOR gate is said to be enable and here also output same as the typically the input like. Now, coming to switch base exclusive NOR the exclusive NOR operation is typically represented in electric circuit by two way switching. So, the lamp F 5 light f equal to 1 only when both switches are on or off f a with the 
exclusion or B that is A B plus A A bar A B bar and in battery you can just see here how the operation is. So, your A is connected to both are 1 1 and B connected 0 0 the output is low when 1 is connected you can call it to high another is typically one con both connected to either 1 or 0 then only output is your high. So, it is a BJT based circuit here to present the exclusive NOR. So, you have a set of transistors again typically 5 transistors which present the your exclusive. So, if no voltage logic 0 is applied to both A B then the output Y is 5 volt logic 1 and if 5 volt logic 1 is applied to both A B then the output Y is 5 volt. If 5 volt logic 1 is applied to first input and 0 to supply second input then the output is 0. So, you must have either 1 or 0 then only output will be available 1 and this is the typically summary with the AND or inverter and buffer with the truth table I mean like symbols and the kind of truth table with the x y for representing your AND gate, NOR gate, OR gate inverter as well as buffer like and the for NAND gate the symbol your algebraic function and truth table for NOR gate exclusive OR and exclusive OR equivalent like. So, now coming to theoretical problems. So, we say write Boolean expression for 3 input NAND gate the output y of NAND gate y a b c is y equal to a dot b dot c bar and which logic gate generate the high output when odd numbers of inputs are high the so exclusive OR gate. Then for the given signals a b c it gets the OR gate output. So, that is x equal to a plus b plus c it will be low only when all 3 are low. Then for how many different sets of input condition will produce the high output for 5 input logic gate. So, the total number of sets of input condition 2 to power 32. So, the output will be low only for when all input are low this happens in all one case and therefore, 31 states the input will be produce a high output. Now, the problem 5 write a Boolean expression for, for input exclusive or the y of or exclusive or a b c d will be y equal to a exclusive b exclusive c exclusive d and for a given expression draw the corresponding logic circuit using and or not. So, here expression is x equal to a dot b in bracket c plus d bar and you can just put here that we are getting by a b by a 3 input and gate we are giving c and d uh, or gate that it will give c plus d and from a and b all 3 input we give to and gate this will give us the expression a dot b into c plus d and not of this will give you the output of x. So, this is used all the 3 gates like apply the input a b waveform to given nor gate and draw the output waveform. So, you will find when typically the all 3 are input are 0 then only output is high otherwise input is low. Column 8 for the given expression draw the corresponding logic circuit using and or not typically. So, you can just say here we have to get all operations. So, the one typically logic for this a b c d we are getting like a b inverse we need it then c and d. So, b b d we are inverting as required in the last expression and along with the c. So, we are getting last expression here for giving for OR gate and from the second AND gate we are getting like d c inverse and E inverse that is getting third expression. So, we are giving to AND gate input and third then we have a, a. So, we are giving all three this to OR. So, we will getting this expression of A plus B plus C bar D and E and by not we are getting invert of this and then OR gate with this. So, we get final output. So, this using you can call it 5 NOT not gate and 2 AND gate and 2 not OR gate. So, now coming to solve numerical problem draw a circuit logic incorporating any gate of your choice which will produce the output 1 when the two inputs are different also draw the same logic circuit incorporating on OR gate. So, you can this is something same exclusive OR and we already represented that how exclusive OR can be written is a exclusive OR it is that is a dot b bar plus a bar b and we can have a bar and b bar by not gate followed by in addition to AND gate operation of the two multiplication followed by of AND operation of both. So, it give you directly the exclusive OR operation. So, that is give the finally I mean the logic operation only by you can call it the NOT and NAND gate like I mean. So, second problem draw the circuit 
to diagram to implement the expression x equal to a plus b into b bar plus c. So, here the you can call it like by 1 f or you will get a plus b and by you have to take b naught with the c another or you will get b bar c and then you have one another non gate you will get x equal to a plus b into b bar c. So, determine the output waveform for or gate output when a b varying according to the timing diagram shown here. The output will be your you can call it only when b when low will be only when both are input are on low otherwise all, all the time it is on you can see that is a plus b determine the output waveform for end gate with the two input the output will be high only when typically your both are high. So, that is you can see red is only when both are high determine the output waveform for end gate when both input pairing according to the timing diagram. So, you will get output high only when both are high and that is the red you can see when both are high. Coming to draw the circuit diagram to implement this expression x equal to a c plus b c bar plus a bar c. So, you can just see I mean you can get a c when by end gate and you can have a c with the naught. So, you will get a by end gate b c bar and for the third you can put a naught gate for a also and you have b c directly. So, by ending of this you will get third expression and apply for all three for the or gate. So, you will get the final expression x y equal to a c plus b c bar plus a bar b c. Coming to seventh problem, draw the circuit diagram to implement the expression here using the logic gate that is x equal to a bar b c and a, a d bar. So, you can have a here typically a b c d. So, you have a a b with the naught of a you will get a bar b c and to or gate of a and d you will get a plus d then naught of it a d bar and end of both then you will get final expression x equal to a bar b c into a b a plus t bar. So, the eighth problem determine the waveform output of not logic gate for the input waveform shown here nor gate. So, this is when both input are low then only output will be high that is nor gate operation determine the NAND gate operation when both input are low then only you will get the both input is high you will get low otherwise all the time it is high. Implement the logic expression for the given here by non and logic gate to x equal to a b dot c plus d bar and total bar. So, this is by you can say you have a your nor gate which represents your c plus d bar with the c b c d input and you have a b uh, a and b. So, you can call it like put the nand gate three input nand gate and you will get the expression finally from this here. And there are some unsolved problems which you can solve in the same manner as we discussed it, just do your exercises. I mean, like, and thank you.